Hello again everyone, back with love and we're going to do another MAT commentary. This time between the Yodelers of Yak Bend and Virtual Donkeys. Alright, let's go. This was, I think, semi-finals? Oh no, quarter-finals? Quarters, yeah. Quarter-finals. Alright. YB has Ranch and Necro Ellie. And they have been known to run uh, Mindburn with this, which we don't see often these days. It used to be the go-to early in this build was Mindburn, but I think they're running Mindburn this yep. game. But yeah, yeah, it's, they're running. yeah, it's interesting because it's definitely not nearly as strong as Lightning Surge in a lot of 1v1s, but it does have some advantages that you get way stronger AP8. Like, if it doesn't get shut down, its DPS is miles, miles, miles above Lightning Surge. The problem yeah. is, it's quite easy to shut down. It's just very good at V8, but I don't see it being really good in the other, like, skirmish or split situations. Yeah, it's much slower, it doesn't have the knockdown, so it's kind of hard to escape with it as well, and it's much more vulnerable to getting stripped as well. Like, it doesn't have the 5 second recharge on Windborne, and it can't cover its enchantments as easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way slower. Yeah. Alright, so... And from VD, we have two alleys split with Lightning Surge main, Dom Mesmer, and Dervish. Yep. This is also a crip shot range, I believe. So it's actually going to make it pretty hard for them to, to win a 3-3, because they're going to lack a bit of damage. Yeah, I guess. Yep. Oh, but it's just Lightning Surge on the first... Sorry, mind shock in the first lightning surge. He's running um Oh see he's, he's actually running lightning surge, not mind burn, my bad. Oh yep. Didn't expect that. And he's got spirit bond, so he can defend this split uh, pretty effectively with his bar. I don't see the point of the ranger being there, to be honest. Yeah, the fact that Butters has spirit bond, like there's really not much point in the ranger being here now because Butters and the monk can defend this split very well by themselves. Yeah. So I think YB strategy is to just okay. They were really ahead on flag since the beginning. They have one flag ahead already. So I see a lot more people coming down to this bottom fight. They sink, uh, Erasil, and Ali for VD. So that's um, what like that's a four v four, yeah. I think it's a five v five. Five yeah, v five. five. Actually. Yeah, so both teams have three damage and two marks here. Yeah. The sync will so leave, go back to main team, take advantage of the one monk in main. And body so will snare Ali. three Ellie's on the side for VD. Oh my, Erasiel is getting call out. Yeah, I think that this is a lot better for um for YB though, because they're getting the collapse off. I guess Ali actually did manage to escape from the Crip shot. And they do get a collapse off on Lily here, but just saved in time by Ali. Yeah. But Arazil actually goes down. Oh, what the fuck? That's unfortunate. Like, that shouldn't happen with, like, two spirit bonds. Three spirit three bonds, even. even. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the three alleys of uh, VD doing work. Yeah. Also, that crypt shot. Like, the, the fact that the crypt shot is such a slow duration. I know I keep on harping on the crypt shot, but. Crip shot against Crip Shield and Crip Rune is just such a slow duration. Fair enough, yeah. Body trying so to res but Ranger. it's interrupted. Ranger's getting caught out. He does get the res off, He's... but it's. They still can't win this fight. Yeah, and I guess. Sink so. is here now, so they could maybe get something done. But Ali's here as well. So I think it's a 5v4 right now, but it's a five-person fight that YB can't really win with a player advantage, I think. There's so much defensive healing. Maybe they could, because they have absolutely no blind or stuff. It's uh, a great collapse, Alice. though. It's, it's a great collapse, yeah. Ali is caught, is caught by the ranger. Yeah. This is a really, really, really good collapse by, by Sinker. But YB is taking so much damage from these Ellie's bowling up. Like, yeah. Wow, these Ellie's just teeing off completely. Nice. Looks nice. like Sync actually Hopefully didn't get the. Yeah. 
She actually got the snare up on C. Well, he... And the claps actually wasn't successful. It didn't get there. And was caught yeah. out in the middle now. And yeah. goes down. Well, that was well played. And he's so that, dead. Yeah, so that great collapse got turned around completely. I mean, you'd think it's great, but around the middle of the map like that against like Durs and Alistair Jellies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see risky. exactly how it happened. I thought that he was going to run sort of through the flag stand and their side of the flag stand. Like, and run there and collapse, but it looked like he tried to run through his front door and then got caught out. Yeah, I didn't watch. So this is where VD's build really comes into its own, like its ability to run flags and control flag running while splitting is going to be really hard for VD, I think. I for mean, for, for YB, yeah. Fucking Ellie's. Yeah, they'll they, be taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, and VD's playing it, like, pretty safe running on Durve. You can see body collapsing on the split again, but once again, this is like not a very effective uh, collapse to do. Like, there's no real point. All you're gonna do is draw the monk over and make this three v three impossible to win for your own team. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the kind of situation when I don't know what you could possibly do. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Well, I was just thinking like, what could body possibly do this game? You can't push flag because VD is gonna be running on lightning surge. Which would just destroy the ranger. He can't sort of. He can't help on split side because he's just going to draw a monk over. All he could really do is just run flags, but that's not a very like. You don't want your ranger to be stuck running flags the whole game. Especially in this build. Like, yeah, you need like. I think they could possibly maybe like defend with monk and ranger instead of monk and Ellie, and like have the Ellie run around and be a threat like to collapsing and stuff. Yeah, I think that's they'd have to do something like that. Or like the only advantage to having the ranger on split side is that you could collapse with like the hammer warrior yeah. or something, and the hammer warrior would be a very good thing to collapse with. But they've tried that a couple of times now. But VD is just way too on top of it. Every time YB has collapsed, VD has just gotten so much out of it. They've gotten kills and position and everything. Because butters can actually act as a snare guy with outsurge on the ice on their on the enemy flagger if they collapse. Because yeah, the killing is really really following properly the collapses. And it's like a five v three here or four v three. Yeah. For a second. So yeah, we see sync uh, collapse again on these alleys, but yeah, alley is just right on top of it. Yeah. Like, this, the only way that this could really work is if Body cuts from the main team, and then Ali had to follow sort of on top of Body, and then Sync and Body could kill Ali sort of mid transition. But having Body yeah, just on split side the whole time, there's just sort of no way that they can get out of it because they can't control the response from VD. Like, they have to be able to control the response of VD somehow. But with the range on split side, they have nothing to do it other than maybe the Dervish. Yeah. And now YB is actually going to engage in this 4v4. So it's 3 damage in 1 monk against 2 damage in 2 monks. I think, I think the YB actually have a far inferior 4v4 here though. Yeah, I think so too. Like 3 damage will sink. never do anything against 2 monks. Yeah, sink is actually collapsing now, but he's going to meet blood red halfway, which is really unfortunate for him. Well, that was well played by blood red. Yeah, Because he needs to be here makes... and like make up for Ali uh, being a bit late, because even if he follows really well, he's going to be late anyway, because just warriors just run faster. Yeah, but Sink does actually manage to still get the crops off even though he was intercepted by Blood Red. And yeah, is get getting him. yeah, getting Willy very low. But Ali does get in range and saves him. But there's another collapse that got thwarted. If if Blood Red wasn't there catching out Sink, then that probably yeah. would have been a wipe yeah. for VD. Probably. And that body goes down. Taken out by a lightning surge. Actually Especially two Ellie's. Since 
like if you're VD and you take a kill and you're a fuse main team, you have one res. <laughs> yeah, two. this build doesn't have this build has like two reses at most. So yeah, the trade-off is it's a well actually YB is really completely wiping here. The trade-off with this build is that you don't have any reses, but you have a really strong like technical advantages in almost every area. The flag running yeah. splitting in the main team fight. So yeah, YB will basically full wipe for this. It'd be very hard to recover from this now. I hardly see what YB could have done in that game considering they had such a tremendous like build disadvantage. Yeah, well I think they just had to not keep their range on split side. I think that keeping the range on split side made them lose control over the rest of the map. And they needed control of the rest of the map. Yeah, I, I guess, but what's the ranger gonna do anywhere else anyway? It's gonna allow them to like collapse and push and all sorts of things. I mean, it's gonna be, it's more than he can do if he's just on the flip side. Yeah, that's true. I mean, what they could have done is they could have defended, instead of defending in the middle, they could have just defended inside their base. And that would have, you know, made it a lot easier to collapse, you know, if VD actually commit on split side, because they would have been further in the base. So you oh, wouldn't yeah, have needed true. the Ranger to be snaring them the whole way, because, you know, they would have committed too far. If that makes any sense. That's one of the few situations where YB might be in a, well, I don't know. Maybe aviating is one of their options. Although, with a Crip Shot Ranger. Yeah, I think that YB's strongest game will come in APO. Like, because they can't really win the flag pushing game, can't win the split game. All they really have is is kind of APA, but not even really, because they don't have a measurement. They're fighting against three Ellies that are just going to be smashing them with huge amounts of damage. I know that they've got DP. So just maybe try and, like, wait, like, play really safe until lower damage. I don't know. So VD just playing it safe. We've already boosted, but is I guess this is a quarterfinals game and no need to rush. Yeah. How long are they gonna stay like that? Um If I recall correctly from the stream, I think it was just a couple minutes. But yeah, VD have. I mean, there's no reason to wait now. Uh, yeah, I unless mean, they're gonna wait like that until 28. <laughs> well, VD have have the power to just score kills whenever they want on YB now. I feel like with the DP and yeah, all their allies, they can score kills right quite easily. Right Yeah, if I recall correctly, they push in in a couple of minutes, and I think that um, like half of YB is AFK when they push in. What? Yeah, it was pretty funny. Come on, push in. So yeah, just YB just lost Knight and Archer. It's like they're getting ready to push in now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look, just half the team's in. AFK. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> they're pushing only the two of these back four. Yeah, I just got a kill straight away. Oh my. Holy shit. Yeah, that's another problem with Ranger Necro Ellie's, like, you have no shutdown, Ellie's. Like, you have a Ranger, but... 
I mean, they're getting suppressor off. You see all the poison and stuff. They're starting to build up the suppressor, but they just take deaths way too fast for it to set they're in. They're just getting poison, but I don't think. But I mean, yeah, considering actually... the YB was actually taking deaths while the pressure was setting in there. Like, yeah. if they hadn't taken the, the death, I think it really would have set in. Why is Matt putting diversion on body? <laughs> He's just tired of the crypt shot. The problem is probably 60 by now. Probably. Yeah, there's no way they could, like, in this situation. I've had my share of experience with Ranger Necroelli, and I think it's very hard to play. Yeah, it takes a it takes a like a lot of coordination. Yeah. Anyway, that was not too bad a game. It was a nice game. Yeah. And yeah, congrats to Vita. So thanks for watching, and see you later.